Good evening, Antonio, and authorities continue investigating this fatal accident and in search of suspects who fled the scene. La Jolla Police, along with Border Patrol agents, received intelligence around 10 a.m. about a suspicious white Chevy Tahoe driving eastbound from Sullivan City, believed to be carrying drugs. Uh, officer La Jolla Police Department and Border Patrol agents that were actually waiting to intercept, intercept the vehicle here in La Jolla, Texas. And uh, the vehicle actually went north on Coyote Drive, eventually actually, uh, well, subsequently losing control, uh, causing the accident. Residents on the 600 block of Salomon Champa Street couldn't believe such a thing would ever happen inside their neighborhood. Just, I was inside and then I heard first, I heard like a big bang. I'm guessing it was a tire, I don't know, it was sounding really loud. And then I heard the second one, the bah, and then like the, the, I'm guessing that was a glass breaking or something. And then that's when I, I ran outside and then it was like really like, just lighting to, to spot what it's right now. A female died and 16 others suffered injuries and had to be taken to a hospital. That was really shocking, man. I mean, it was the first time ever to experience something like this, especially here. It's a, it's a really peaceful neighborhood, and I mean, the people screaming, it was, it's still in my head. It's, it's, it's sad. Searching by air and ground, officers from Border Patrol, DPS, Palm Beach Firefighters and PD, constables, and La Jolla Police and School District spent the rest of the day in search of four believed to be injured suspects, including the driver, causing three schools to go on lockdown. Hours later, around 5 p.m., officers caught one of the individuals hiding inside a home under construction. The drugs officers believed to be in the vehicle were never found. They say the vehicle had already been linked to other drug and human trafficking cases. More information is expected to be released tomorrow. For Fox 2 News, I'm Oscar Morgan.